It's easy to believe that you can only catch specimen fish on a bolt rig, but for big bream and tench when they're in the margins, float fishing takes some beating. And I've come here today to a local gravel pit to fish with Steve Rowley, and he's going to talk through exactly how he's been catching some very big fish this summer. So Steve, tell us about it. Okay Martin, I've been fishing um, the lift method on a nice sloping margin, silty margin. Right. And the gear that I'm using is the 13 foot Drennan Tench float, which is nice and powerful, but it allows for the lunges up and down the margin. Stops the hook pull. Stops a hook pull okay. on a regular basis. I'm fishing um, the FD4000 reel, which is loaded with six pound double strength. Okay. I love the double strength, um, low diameter, very supple, um, but you do have to be careful if you start putting shot on there. But as you'll see from my rig, and I'll show you in a minute, no shot on this rig at all. So okay. It's great. Let's have a look. Okay. Pretty simple method. First of all, I use the nice Drennan antennae float, which has got the segmentation on the top. That's lovely on the is, left. Oh, brilliant. You can see exactly what's going on with the lift bite. Sometimes they're very shallow, sometimes bang, they'll pop straight up. Perfect float for the job. I use two float stops, small Drennan float stops. Which That's to set your depth. It's, it's to set the depth, it's to hold the float there. So straight, as soon as that hits the bottom, you're straight in. And so also- is, is that just, just take about one second, is that set at dead depth or over depth? Ever so slightly over depth. Right. I okay. like to just literally get an inch, couple of centimeters over depth, just to give you that little bit of flexibility because obviously the, the bottom is up and down and you can just tighten it up and just show the tip. So you're fishing that under tension, once it's fishing. Under tension. That's under tension. So you, Sunken line, under tension. And you wind it down so it just cocks. Yes, exactly. Okay, go gotcha. Exactly. The other good thing with the stops is that you can adjust them very easily if you need to change your depth. So if you come higher up the marginal shelf, you can shallow it up. Then we go down to a very simple, tiny swivel with a little bit of mono, and then you put your lead shot on there. Okay. So it's not on the line itself. That's a lot it's more totally shot separate. than you would need to cock the float. Yeah, exactly. So that's like an anchor weight. Exactly. Right. And as soon as the fish moves that weight, even slightly, the float will start popping up. So it's a beautiful method. I've got a small float stop, and then you can adjust your hook length accordingly. So there's no swivels, you're not making a connection. It's that this, straight this hook length is the same as exactly the main Exactly the same, straight through from hook to reel. So you've got ultimate strength. Yeah, exactly. Right. No damage whatsoever to the line. Sometimes when they're having it, I'll have a real short hook length, bang, and they're straight onto it and lifting that float. Other times, a little bit longer and I'll adjust it. I fish a size 16 super specialist hook, Drennan with double red maggots. And that's the but you could use using. corn or pellet or could anything use corn like that. Pellet. I like to use pellet as the base and then I'll fish red maggots over it and it's been super. So you cast that out to your position, wind down, cock the float under tension. Yep. Everything's waiting like a cord spring for a big tench or bream to come along. Buff, up it goes. Exactly. Big fish. Doesn't get better. And hopefully you'll be like Steve, getting your rod bent most mornings. <laughs>